At the top and all new tonight, families are being separated by an international boundary and President Obama's repeal of the so-called wet foot, dry foot policy for Cubans. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz spoke with a man who says his wife and daughter were detained at the Hidalgo Port of Entry. She's live in the newsroom with all the details. Jose Luis Perez Naveda thought today would be the long-awaited reunion with his family. They've been apart for a year and a half. He didn't anticipate a law change yesterday would mean his wife and baby girl would be denied entry into the U.S. It was a simple plan. Drive 22 hours from Miami to McAllen, pick up his wife and one-year-old daughter, then head back home to Miami. That plan crumbled yesterday afternoon when Jose Luis Perez Naveira received a numbing call. Well, I drove here, they gave me the news that President Obama canceled the wet foot, dry foot law. The law has been in place for over 20 years. And just like that, from one day to the next, it's gone. Naveda's wife and baby were stopped by customs when they arrived to the Hidalgo point of entry this morning. It comes after the Obama administration's end to the so-called wet foot, dry foot policy for Cubans. Department of Homeland Security says anybody who arrived in the U.S. before the official announcement yesterday will keep their path to legal residency. Naveda's wife and daughter arrived hours too late for their shot at a life in the U.S. The two will now join the multitude of Cubans who arrived at the bridge after the policy changed Thursday. Naveda says family and friends keep calling him. They're worried and stunned by the news. I was in shock, but I didn't think it was going to go into effect as soon as he announced it. I thought it would take a few more days. Naveda says he doesn't know what his family can do now. A life in Cuba isn't an option. Cuba's a country with no democracy. I hope he took that into consideration. He hopes the president and lawmakers reconsider. Naveda says he'll spend the night in his car at the Hidalgo port of entry. He says he's not leaving until he's reunited with his wife and daughter. In the newsroom, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 10. And Channel 5 News reached out to the Department of Homeland Security about the end to the policy. They sent us a statement that reads, the Department of Homeland Security will no longer give special preference to parole requests made by Cuban nationals who reach the United States, and they may be subject to expedited removal. Like nationals from other countries, Cubans in the United States can seek asylum and other available forms of relief or protection from removal.